हेलो स्टूडेंट्स नाउ यू आर इन क्लास टेन एंड जस्ट आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट माय कोविड नाइन्टीन बायोलॉजी क्लास जस्ट व्हाई आई हैव गिवन कोविड नाइन्टीन बायोलॉजी क्लास यू नो दिस इज द पीरियड ऑफ लॉकडाउन जस्ट स्टे इन योर होम एंड मेंटेन द रूल्स ऑफ लॉकडाउन नाउ दिस इज माय फर्स्ट क्लास इन क्लास टेन इन क्लास टेन फर्स्ट चैप्टर इज लाइफ प्रोसेसेस सो जस्ट टुडे वी विल एक्सप्लेन अबाउट लाइफ प्रोसेस वॉट इज लाइफ प्रोसेस वॉट आर लाइफ प्रोसेसेस यू नो देर आर मेनी प्रोसेसेस विच आर परफॉर्म बाय अस टू सस्टेन और वी कैन से टू सर्वाइव In the absence of these processes, we can't survive. So today, just we will explain about them. First is nutrition. Second is respiration. Third is transportation, and fourth is excretion. These are the main processes which are very essential for the survival of our life. If any of these is absent, then we can't survive. So. today we have to see about them first is nutrition what is nutrition but before stand understanding this just we have to define what are life processes means those processes which are essential for the survival of our life are called life processes those processes which are essential for the survival of our life are called life processes for example nutrition respiration transportation and excretion all are called life process but in this chapter we have to study one by one so now we will see about nutrition what is nutrition nutrition and nutrient materials and nutrients nutrient materials and nutrients are same thing but nutrition is different what is nutrition to nutrition is a method is a method by which we take nutrient materials from the food and these nutrient materials are utilized to do various activities once again i am going to define nutrition what is nutrition nutrition is a method by which nutrient material materials or nutrients are taken from the food and these nutrient materials are utilized to do various activities now just we'll see what are the different types of nutrition nutrition is of two types two main types in which one is called autotrophic nutrition whereas other is called heterotrophic nutrition what are the differences between autotrophic nutrition and heterotrophic nutrition just we have to explain first of all we will see about autotrophic nutrition what is the meaning of auto auto means self means it is a type of nutrition in which organisms <clears throat> synthesis their own food and they do not depend on other organism for their food requirement once again just i am going to explain it what is autotrophic nutrition it is a type of nutrition in which organisms can synthesis can make their own food and they do not depend on other organism for their food requirement but what is heterotrophic nutrition it is just opposite what is what is the difference so just we will explain it heterotrophic nutrition it is also a type of nutrition in which organisms cannot make their own food and they depend on other organism for their food requirement so this is the difference between autotrophic nutrition and heterotrophic nutrition in autotrophic nutrition organisms make their own food by the use of some inorganic substances like water carbon dioxide they make organic substance in the form of food for example you know in green plant photosynthesis takes place during the process of photosynthesis plants utilize carbon dioxide and water as a raw material and they make glucose in the form of food glucose is an organic compound whereas carbon dioxide and water are inorganic substances now <clears throat> we will see some examples what are the examples can you give the answer 
you say green plants but but i will give you some more examples other than green plants for example blue green algae which is also known as cyanobacteria have you heard the name of blue green algae blue green algae is also known as cyanobacteria it is also autotrophs second is hydrogen bacteria iron bacteria green sulfur bacteria these are the different different examples of autotrophic nutrition those organisms in which autotrophic type of nutrition takes place are also called autotrophs now we will see about heterotrophic nutrition just i have explained sometimes before in heterotrophic type of nutrition organisms cannot make their own food they depend on other organism for their food requirement now we will see what are the different types of heterotrophic nutrition if you want to know about the example of heterotrophic nutrition then listen all animals fungi <clears throat> some protozoans some bacteria because some bacteria are autotrophic type in some bacteria autotrophic type of nutrition take place so all bacteria are not the example of heterotrophic nutrition so we can say some bacteria once again all animals fungi some bacteria and some protozoans are the example of heterotrophic type of nutrition now <clears throat> we will see what are the different types of autotrophic nutrition and heterotrophic nutrition so first of all we will see about types of autotrophic nutrition but it is not in ncert book but i will say you i will explain about them autotrophic nutrition is of two types in which one is called photosynthetic or second is called chemosynthetic photosynthetic type of autotrophic nutrition is also called photoautotrophs whereas chemosynthetic type of nutrition autotrophic nutrition is also called chemoautotrophs so we can say autotrophic nutrition is of two types one is called photoautotrophs whereas second is called chemoautotrophs what are or what is the difference between photoautotrophs and chemoautotrophs you should know in any type of nutrition <clears throat> organisms need energy to make their own food in autotrophic nutrition you know organisms can make their own food but for the synthesis of food they require energy some autotrophs take this energy from the sun so those organisms in which organi those organisms in which energy is taken from sun to make the food are called photoautotrophs but you should know in some organisms the energy which is essential for the synthesis of food is obtained from the chemical reaction which takes place inside the body of that organism so though or those organisms which take energy from the chemical reaction which takes place inside their body are called chemoautotrophs sometimes before just i have given some examples for example iron bacteria sulfur bacteria so these sulfur bacteria iron bacteria are the example of chemoautotrophs because they use energy for the synthesis of their food from the chemical reaction which takes place inside their body but green plants blue green algae are the example in which energy which is required to synthesis the food material is taken from the sun light so we are seeing here autotrophic nutrition is of two types in which one is called photoautotrophic nutrition and second is called chemoautotrophic nutrition those organisms in which photoautotrophic type of nutrition takes place are called photoautotrophs whereas those organisms in which chemoautotrophic type of nutrition takes place are called chemoautotrophs and i have given examples for both separately what will what will be the example of photoautotrophic nutrition green plants blue green algae whereas what will be the example of <coughs> chemoautotrophic nutrition just i have said sulfur bacteria iron bacteria etc but you should know <coughs> in science in nature <coughs> some organisms have autotrophic and heterotrophic type of nutrition <clears throat> for example have you heard the name of euglena in euglena both type of nutrition takes place and such type of nutrition is called mixoautotrophic nutrition 
Now <clears throat> we will explain the types of heterotrophic nutrition. Heterotrophic nutrition is of three types, three main types, in which one is called saprophytic sep nutrition, second is called parasitic nutrition, and third is called holozoic nutrition. So these are the main three types of heterotrophic nutrition. One by one, just we will explain. <clears throat> First of all, we will see about saprophytic nutrition. Sapros means dead body, means those organisms which take their food from the dead bodies of plants and animals in the form of liquid organic substance, liquid food material are called saprophytic nutrition. For example, fungi, <coughs> some bacteria and some protozoans are the example of saprophytic nutrition. Once again, just I am going to explain saprophytic nutrition means it is a type of heterotrophic nutrition in which organisms take their food in the form of solid or we can say in which organisms take their food from the dead bodies of plants and animals in the form of liquid food materials. What are the examples? Some bacteria, fungi and some protozoans. Now <clears throat> we will see about parasitic nutrition. What, are par what is parasitic nutrition? It is also a type of heterotrophic nutrition in which any organism take its food from other organisms by living temporarily or permanently with them. For example, have you heard the name of tinea solium? Tinea solium is also known as tapeworm. Have you heard the name of roundworm? Have you heard the name of leech? Have you heard the name of mosquito, in female mosquito? <coughs> All are the example of, par of parasites, in them parasitic type of nutrition because they take their food from other host. Now we will see these parasites or these parasites are of two types in which one is called ectoparasite whereas other is called endoparasite. What are ecto ectoparasites? So those parasites which are present just outside the body and take the food from the host are called ectoparasites. For example, have you heard the name of leech? Female anopheles mosquito. <clears throat> All are the example of ectoparasites. But we will see about endoparasites. These endoparasites are present inside the body of the host and by living inside the body of the host, they take food from the host. For example, tip wall, round wall, etc. These are present in the alimentary canal of the human being and take their food. So we are seeing here that parasites are those organisms which take their food from other organisms, from their host by living temporarily or permanently with them. Now just I will explain about holozoic type of nutrition. <clears throat> Holo means like, zoic means animal, animal like means it is also a type of heterotrophic nutrition <coughs> in which organisms take their food in the form of solid or liquid food material by the process used by an animal. All the animals are the example of autotrophic, uh, sorry, holozoic type of nutrition. So we can say in all animals, holozoic type of nutrition takes place. You should know in holozoic nutrition, <clears throat> or we can say holozoic nutrition is completed into five steps just we have to explain them first is called ingestion second is called digestion third is called absorption fourth is called assimilation and fifth is called ejection so holozoic nutrition is completed into five steps once again i am going to say the name <clears throat> first is ingestion Second is digestion, third is absorption, fourth is assimilation, and fifth is ejection. Just we will explain them one by one. First is called ingestion. What is ingestion? It is the process by which any organ take their food, any organ take its food inside the body. Means the process by which food is taken inside the body is called ingestion. Now. Second is <coughs> digestion. When we take 
our food inside the body then second process is digestion what is the process of digestion in this process just <coughs> complex and insoluble food material is converted into simple and soluble form third is absorption when food is digested then digested food material gets absorbed by the wall of the alimentary canal and sent to the blood stream this is called this is called <coughs> absorption after that assimilation when nutrient materials reaches uh, reach into the blood then through blood they sent to the cell and inside the cell oxidation takes place as a result energy is produced and this is called assimilation and at last ejection what is ejection it is the process by which undigested food material is removed from the body so in this way we are seeing here this uh, <coughs> holozoic type of nutrition is completed into five, five steps okay time is over so next day just we go again after dhara sahab Oh, 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 oh.